Hello there. Group masters are there to serve us. There are four different kinds of group masters. The first one is the most used one. We take a group and use a swipey to assign it to an empty executor. The positive group master is an HTTP group master and will diminish output when the fader is lowered. It is indicated by a small plus icon in the upper right corner of the group pool object. We can also control any group master by selecting the group object and using the swipey to edit the setting of the object. On the right hand, we can see the master level and to the left, the currently used mode. A negative group master is a low TP master. It's also used to limit intensity output. Imagine you have a group master for all your spots and one for the spots in your second LX only. The positive group master for your spots is at 80%. The negative group master for your LX2 fixtures is at 60%. The output of LX2 is now at 60%. If the negative master is turned up, then the output stops at 80% when the group master becomes valid again. The negative group master is indicated by a small minus icon in the upper right corner of the group pool object. Be careful when you delete a group master that you have assigned to an executor. The group master will still be in effect. We can see a reference to the group master setting in the group pool object. Removing the group master from the group can be done by selecting none as a mode in the group pool object settings. The scaling group master scales the intensity output. For example, if the fixture is at 50% and the group master is at 50%, then the output is 25%. It is indicated by a small cross icon in the upper right corner of the pool object. For our next group master mode, let's select the sequence where our spots are at 80%. The additive group master does not limit output but adds intensity. It's an HTTP merge with values from your programmer and playbacks. It is indicated by a small circle icon in the upper right corner of the pool object. I hope these masters serve you well. Happy programming.